Hi! Thank you for watching. This video is a $100 thrift store haul, and I'm going to go through the things I bought and explain them in detail to you. So hopefully you can make more informed decisions when you go out trying to make money buying things at Goodwills, Salvation Armies, garage sales, whatever. And at the end of the video, stick around because if you like alcohol or video games or making money, you're going to want to see the giveaway. Here is my most recent thrift store haul. You can see some toys over here and then more electronics on this side. What I want to go through now is each individual item and explain why I bought it. Let's start off with this toy right here, 90s teddy bear fishing. I paid $3 for it. There's no brand on it. I have no clue what it is. I've got some bad news. Usually I can find anything that I want to find using the good old internet, but uh, I cannot find that teddy bear. We have at least been able to out outlaw, to rule out the fisherman out from, uh, from Build-A-Bear, but scrolling down, I cannot find anything that looks like this, has the same clothes as this, has the same bear style the way it was manufactured and built. It looks like it's just a one of one crazy thing. Even going through Google images, nothing even looks close. It's got like a real metal tin, it's got a little wood fishing pole, and it's not just stitched together. The things are placed in neatly and sewn in. I don't know what to say here except that I found a uh, a rare item in the sense that I don't know if there's very many of them. I almost think it might be a sample that got sent here and wasn't approved because there's no branding at all and it's very high quality. It feels like a Build-A-Bear Bear. I might give it as a gift. Uh, if I were to sell it though, I'd put it at 50 bucks and see what everyone said. Here are some M&M dispensers. There was probably 10 or 15 of those uh, at the store. But they're all priced at eight dollars. You can see down there at seven ninety nine. A few were four ninety nine, but most that were that size were eight dollars, and they were only selling for around thirty or forty bucks. And so while it is profitable, and while the sales rank for most of these is around a hundred to two hundred fifty thousand, which means they will sell in a reasonable amount of time, I left them because I didn't really want to spend a hundred and ninety bucks there today. I'm kind of trying to use the cash I'm getting from Facebook Marketplace to buy this stuff. So I picked the top three. Uh, these are all selling for over 50 bucks. This one up here is pretty cool. It's like a porcelain metallic finish one. $199 for a PlayStation 3 Rock Band Fender Stratocaster guitar. Not a guitar here guitar. It'll take longer to sell, but at two bucks, uh, it's an easy buy. <sighs> okay, this is getting kind of complicated because we're dealing with some like higher higher concepts on Amazon, and it has to do with a few people not knowing what they're doing. So we look at the, the listing for the rock band, and if I call a Guitar Hero guitar, don't buy, don't care, who cares? Okay, they're all the same thing. They're just, they're plastic. They're just differently branded plastic. So we're looking at this, whatever it is, guitar, and we see that the listing is really, really badly done. It's got the dongle's in there, and the dongle's not in the title. That's stupid. It's just got, like, his carpet and a, a, a cardboard presentation thing behind it. And for some reason, Amazon hasn't changed this. This isn't in the scope of the video at all, but I feel like people need to know this. Here's the first listing I told you about, right? This bullshit one. We scroll down, see the slowdown. This is the same guitar. PlayStation 3, Rock Band Wireless Guitar, 213 reviews. This one has got 17 reviews. So this one came second, obviously. And uh, this is the one that I should be listing it on. If you just type in PlayStation 3 Fender Stratocaster, this is the one that pops up for you. So you have to always be aware that just because it's a listing on Amazon and it's the first one you find, it might not be the best one. This one you can see is selling way way more the sales rank is dipping down from 7,000 up to 20,000 it's still the same fees it's still gonna be $27 net profit off my $2 investment which is awesome that's great money but I'm gonna list it on this one because the returns the customers are way more satisfied which means less returns which means I get to keep more of my money
Calculators are always an easy buy. I paid 99 cents a piece for the three of these. They're just basic Texas instrument calculators. And then some Callaway golf balls. These are probably eight or nine bucks a sleeve. Uh, what I do with these is I'm not gonna sell them individually. I'll just put them with a, a, a set of golf clubs I wanna sell. I paid a dollar for it, and it'll just set mine apart from other ones that are similar in Facebook Marketplace. A little VTech Poo Toy. What I do with these, I try to sell them for 30 or 40 bucks, and if they don't, then I just auction them off in a lot on eBay. Uh, sometimes I'll sell them on FBA, but a lot of you are not uh, ungated for Disney or VTech brand, so I'm not even gonna bother showing you how to sell it on there because it would be useless information. These Sony here are also a, a brand you might be gated for. Sony is a uh, electronics brand that when you sign up for Amazon, you have to have like six to nine months of, of uh, recurring sales. There's no number I can give you, but for me, for example, after like six months of doing like 10 grand a month, I got approved for Sony. I'm gonna FBA all of these, even the tiny one, and I should probably get at least 40 bucks for that, and hopefully over 50 a piece for the three of these. And I paid $8, $10, $10. With these two in particular, I should be getting 75. This one I'm not so sure about. And this little tiny one I paid four bucks for, and I think it goes for 35. This DVD player right here, it's a Blu-ray player, is one you should look out for. It's a Samsung with HDMI and Wi-Fi as well, and it's very tiny. Anything with these attributes is gonna go for over 50 bucks, as long as it's like a well-known brand. I paid a bit up for it, but I've sold these for 90 bucks. The money part. I spent $100, right? I actually spent a little less than that, but we're gonna round up to make it easy. The bear, I'm saying $0 just because I don't want to be like, yeah, I'm going to sell it for $1,000 and that'll mess up this number down here. The M&M uh, canisters, all three of those sold. I should get about 90 bucks profit when it's all said and done. The Rock Band guitar, 27 bucks. The Poo Toy, 25 bucks profit. The calculators, 15 bucks profit. That could be more. I'm just going low on that again too. The Sony's is the one I want to really talk about because on some of these, like uh, for the one I told you that I said I was really, really happy about, that was listed at $89 when I bought it. And over the past three days, someone put it at 30 bucks because they don't know how pricing works. And so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna meet that price. I know how many sell, I've sold these before. It might take four months to sell all the Sonys because I think it's the back to school crowd that is gonna want them over the summer, not so good. But uh, I'm going to price these high just because I know what they're worth. The Phillips, same thing. I'm going to price it high because I know that if someone needs to save space and they want to play Blu-rays, they're going to look for that model. Everything else is pretty much going to sell within the first month or two. Uh, I didn't show you these last two because they're just kind of like, you know, I didn't have anything good to say about them. It was just a deluxe handheld light toy and a PS3 motion move controller. Um... I didn't pay hardly anything for either of those. I think a dollar and four bucks for those two. What I think is gonna happen then is, so I think I'm gonna sell this one real quick, the Calcs real quick, one or two of the Sonys real quick, and the Philips uh, Wi-Fi Blu-ray DVD player real quick. And I'll get like 150 out of that maybe. So that 100 I initially um, invested has already paid off probably in the first two or three weeks. And that additional like $400 is gonna trickle in over the next four months. I don't think any of these are going to make it until Christmas. I think that probably when fall hits, they're going to go. But I wanted to be as transparent as I could about how much money I think I'm going to make off of these. So I hope you guys appreciate it. Thank you for watching. And now it's time for the giveaway. What I'm giving away to one lucky viewer is eight of these. I have eight of these. They are Gears of War 4 Moscow Mule and Coaster Sets. You can sell them for about 10 bucks a piece on eBay, or you can use them to drink alcohol while you're playing video games. They both seem like stellar options. I'm not joking, there's eight in here and someone's gonna get them all because I don't wanna sell them individually. How do you win? Very easy, there's four ways to enter. Comment on the video with your best flip. It can be from a flea market, a garage sale, your grandma's attic. Just tell me your best flip because I wanna know. Way two, subscribe to this channel. You probably already are, but just do it if you're not. Way three, you have to like my Facebook page. I'm gonna link below. Way 
before you have to subscribe to the email newsletter. I'm going to be doing a lot more of that, a lot more long form writing stuff that I think is really going to help you out. So please subscribe to that list and let's make a bunch of money.